found the studies about putting monks in an MRI machine where kind of like the mindfulness and the neuroscience intertwined. I was 14, I was traveling uh, with my best friend at the time. We went to Thailand and one day we ended up um, in the middle of nowhere. We went to this Buddhist monastery that was um, like in a cliff somewhere. We just spent a day there. Um, we were talking to monks and they were telling us about, you know, the way that they live their life. And there was just something really beautiful about the way that they approach life. And I always thought if I don't get into university, I'll come back here. I'll shave my hair and oh my God, really? <laughs> I'll be a monk. And um, yeah, because it was just, you know, I, I struggled a lot as well with my mental health mm -hmm. and the idea of just like, giving away all of my possessions, like letting go of all of that and just trying to be at peace. There's something quite freeing about it, isn't it? Yeah, like, absolutely. Mm -hmm. Then I went to university. I wasn't particularly happy when I was at university. I was still going through um, depression. Then it wasn't until I found the studies about putting monks in an MRI machine where kind of like the mindfulness and the neuroscience intertwined. Ah, what? Well, tell me more about that. Fascinating. They basically took monks people who had been meditating for years and years and years in mm -hmm. an MRI because they wanted to see, well, surely their brains must be different. Yeah, what does it do to, what to does the it actual do? brain? How yeah, do yeah, their yeah. brains yeah, yeah, yeah. look? Or what's going on in the brain when you're meditating? Mm -hmm. one, thing, one thing that's really interesting is if you just look at not what's happening inside the brain, but what does a brain look like from somebody who's been meditating for a long time? It just, it looks completely different on the surface. So there's this process called gyrification um which is the process by which the brain creates its folds so like the sulcus which is the little valley and the gyrus which is like the little hill so mm -hmm. you know those little wrinkles that the brain has um and you'll see in species that are less complex than us mm -hmm. as humans um that the brain is a little bit smoother you also see this in you know, fetal alcohol syndrome. So if there's been something that's happened to the brain during development, that the brain is a lot smoother, there's not as many grooves. Okay. In people who meditate, there are more grooves. And that's associated wow. with um, more like higher order cognitive functions. So, so more it, complex brains.